Life After Wenger is back after a couple of weeks break. This will be the only series of Football Manager that will continue for the next couple of weeks as we've got Critic Captain out on the channel and other series making their return as well as this one. Um, yeah, we've got an interesting first Premier League game against Chelsea. Yeah, fixture list going against us, but we've got some very, very interesting transfers to tell you about. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2017 and part 1 of Season 4 of Life After Wenger. And today we have uh, the, the Premier League match against Chelsea. But without further ado, let's tell you about the transfers. Cristiano Ronaldo, the first signing for £5 million, by the way. Don't know how he's, he's only worth that, but he's only 34. He's still scoring a lot of goals for Real Madrid the last few seasons. And I think he's going to be pretty good. He's he's our second best attacking midfielder left. Um, sort of about the same ability as Alexis Sanchez, which means I think he'll be very, very good this season. And shirt sales will be well up. We've also signed Jack Butland, 13.25 million. Could go up to about 20 million. Uh, just a backup goalkeeper this season. I'll probably take over from Czech towards the end of it. Um, but should be good. Uh, Hakim Abdullah, I think Arsene Wenger brought this guy in, uh, just for his potential really, uh, as well as Josh Henderson, um, yeah he's a regen actually, Lyndon Gooch brought him in as well, um, Kieran Dowell, not really any inspiring ones and then uh, to top it off he signed Brendan Galloway for 18 million. Yeah, granted a little bit better than the other signings. He's worth £18 million. He's had a couple of good seasons in the Premier League for Southampton since joining them. And uh, he'll act as a, as a backup for us. On the outs, probably the biggest one to tell you about is Kingsley Coleman. He's gone to Barcelona for £37 million, But apart from that, uh, nobody really leaving of note. So, let's have a look at pre-season. Uh, unbeaten. As you can see, the only one we drew was the one against Southampton in the Walcott testimonial. But we're looking looking forward to hopefully getting back to winning ways this season. We didn't win a single trophy last year after a really good um, spell um, in our first two seasons at Arsenal. So this season, we're going to have to do a bit better. But this is the team that's going to face Chelsea. Petr Cech will start and goal. We've got Bellerin, Koscielny, Van Dijk and Luke Shaw in defence with Kovacic and Barkley in the midfield with Walcott Sanchez and Cristiano Ronaldo starting behind Romelu Lukaku up front. So let's get into it. Wow, it's a long time since I've played Football Manager. Obviously, um, I've finished the draft with Toby. I don't know if this video will come out before or after you see that. Um... But uh, that was the last time played Football Manager. But properly, in, in about three weeks since I've picked up this uh, save, for some reason the highlight speeds are, are, are way down. Let's get them up uh, to that. And yeah, we'll we'll see how it goes. Oh, good save by a check. I think that may need to come down one. No, apparently not. I was just able to keep up with it, usually. Chia in the middle. It's away by Van Dijk. Now here's Alexis Sanchez. And that's the start of that. Hopefully you guys are good. Uh, obviously I've been very busy with Critic Captain recently. Uh, Barkley has made it 1-0. <clears throat> um, and just want to bring some of my old series back. You know, Minecraft has come back onto the channel. Um, Retro Games is going to be making a, a return. Um, and I also have a, a new idea for a different kind of series. I don't think it'll be particularly popular, but one I, I, I'll enjoy making. And, um, and yeah, just just keeping on top of all of that, as well as uh, having a long-term relationship as well. Uh, not long-term, long-distance relationship. Um, obviously means I spend a lot of time away from home and away from my computer, so that's just the way that is. Uh, that's in the middle, Sanchez almost getting a goal there. Lukaku's picked up a bit of a knock, which is a bit of a concern, because uh, he finished top goal scorer last season, so he's an important player. Obviously, Man United, since the last ep episode, have signed him for £75 million in real life, so let us know what you think about that down in the comments below. Um, 
But yeah, 1-0 at half-time against Chelsea. I think we can be pretty pleased with that, actually. Uh, I think Lukaku is going to come off. We're going to bring Lewandowski on and see what he can do on this opening day. Obviously, into his second season now in the Premier League. We're expecting him to, to improve on last year. Bellerin to Walcott now. Kovacic forward to Barkley. Bellerin into the middle and a good save by Courtois. Certainly take a 1-0 though. Three points in the bag would be very, very nice. Uh, but Van Dijk forward to Lewandowski. Very good save by Courtois there. Walcott into the middle and a good catch yet again. We have been on top in this match most definitely. Um, but... That stands for nothing. If you give away penalties, who's number 30? David Luiz is going to take this penalty. And, well, it went straight down the middle, but Czech couldn't get to it. And it's 1-1 after 55 minutes. Czech really should have done better. I mean, he hit it so hard, so maybe I'm being a bit harsh, but... Hmm. Uh, here's Fabregas. Good tackle by Shaw. Nope. That's forward to can't it. Koscielny, it's away now. Lewandowski to Walcott. Into the middle and Sanchez puts in the back of the net. 2-1. His first goal of the season. He's off the mark. And we're back into the lead of the game. Walcott with his first assist. And yeah, back on top. A bit of a sigh of relief, if you like. Ronaldo's not had a good return to English football, has he? We'll swap them two round. Walcott sprinting down that right-hand side into the middle. And Ronaldo couldn't quite get there. He's going to come off now, though. Um, Firmino's going to come on for him and move into the middle. Ten minutes to go. Who do we bring in? Uh, actually, Barkley's quite tired, so we'll bring on Aaron Ramsey. Cazola's managed to get another contract. I think Wenger gave him another contract, which is fine. Absolutely fine. Uh, I think he's took a little bit less wages and just a one-year extension, so that's that's okay. Um, and and hopefully he'll feature a little bit this season. Here's Ramsey for to Lewandowski, and that is full time. We've won two, won a good start to the season. We'll have a quick look at expectations and stuff uh, before we finish off the episode. But uh, Ronaldo makes his return, uh, and yes, we are looking at buying N'Golo Kante for £28.5 I think he would just be a good addition to the squad, he'd, he'd slot in nicely into our little rotation of, of players. Um, so, yeah, what's his existing contract? One hundred and fifty grand a week. We'll go for that. Why not? Um, and yeah, so when am I going to come back then? That is the question. Well, we always do well against Leicester, so I might as well play that one. And we'll also play the Champions League game as well, just to get back into the swing of things. And, uh, yeah, there's the expectations. We're expected to win the Premier League, reach the semi-final of the Champions League, reach the final of the FA Cup, and they don't regard the EFL Cup as important. So, if you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. It really does mean a lot for me and for the channel. Um, and, yeah, expect to see Football Manager return regularly to the channel in the near future and um, perhaps not daily i don't think it will be daily and uh, maybe every couple of days is what you can expect so hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye